Welcome to Bareboat Sailing Charters. My name is Bill Bowman and I'll be going over your boat with you. The purpose of this instructional video is to provide you with useful information on the operation of your particular boat and to speed your check-in in Newport, giving you time to unpack, relax, and enjoy. At Bareboat Sailing Charters, we spend a great deal of time maintaining our boats to provide you with a safe, reliable vessel for your vacation. Happy boating! We'll now go over the 423. Let's go down below. We are now going to go over the Raymarine E80. The 423 is equipped with two units, one at the nav station, one at the helm. To turn the unit on, you throw the white instrument breaker here. When the unit's powered up, you will see this screen. You press OK to continue. You're now on your chart. To utilize the chart, we use it in the most basic way. You use your trackpad, and your cursor and your range. So you might range out to a specific distance. The distance is indicated in the upper corner here. Range out again and say we want to go to Block Island. You move the cursor to where you want to go and you have a bearing to your cursor and a distance. And that's how we use the electronics in the most basic way. To return to the boat, you hit find cursor, find ship. When you're in the fine ship mode, the cursor and the boat are centered in the middle of the screen. You then range back in, and there we see our boat in the center of the screen. The next key you will use is the page set. The page set cycles between your displays. So we depress page, you have chart, radar, chart, radar, and data. If you wait long enough, the page set shuts off, so you just hit it again and say we want to go to radar, we depress the radar button. We are now on the radar page. Just as the screen says, to transmit, you depress the red button. In the lower corner here, you have transmit and standby. To transmit, you press the soft key. We are now transmitting or scanning. One note, when you are scanning, if you are sailing, you want to make sure that you run the engine um, frequently to keep a charge on the batteries. If you're under power, that's not important. Okay, to stop transmitting, you depress this button again. You are now in standby. One note, when you are on the standby screen, you cannot activate the page set. You have to hit the cancel button to cancel. Then you can activate the page set, and then we can depress our chart and go back to our chart. As stated, we also have on the page set a data page. This is something you can bring up. It gives you wind speed, boat speed, etc., etc. Again, depressing the page set, I'll go back to our chart. We will now go over the DC panel, which controls all the systems on the boat. You have your DC main breaker here. Running down, you have your lighting. Here's your exterior lighting. Navigation, anchor, steaming, and deck light. Here's your interior lighting. Cabin lights and salon lights both labeled in yellow, as are all the lights which is in the boat labeled in yellow. You have a 12 volt outlet, which is here. That's for your cell phone charger, laptop, etc. You have an inverter breaker, which is for your inverter outlet. You have a breaker for the cabin fans. The boat's equipped with four cabin fans. You have the autopilot breaker, which functions the autopilot. Panel lights. You have the bilge pump. And a note on the bilge pump. The red light indicates that the bilge pump, that the automatic bilge pump is functioning correctly. You also have an auto and manual switch. You have the water pump breaker. The boat is equipped with two water tank gauges, bow and aft. For the gauges to work, the breaker must be on. The shower pump breaker, that's for draining the shower. You have the refrigerator breaker. You have the stove breaker, which controls the gas to the stove. And a note on the stove breaker, the breaker should only be turned on when you're using the stove and shut off at all other times. You have the stereo breaker, which powers your stereo. The VHF breaker, which powers the radio. The instruments breaker, which powers the instruments, as we discussed. The washdown breaker, which runs the saltwater washdown pump. And then the macerator breaker, 
the macerator breaker which controls the waste discharge on the boat. Okay, next we have the AC power center. Okay, you have your main breaker here, battery charger, water heater, outlets. And always, always, always plug the boat in first, then turn the breaker on. If there's an issue with the shore power, you'll get a reverse polarity indication here. You have a VHF radio, as we stated on the panel. On the radio, you have the name of the boat, your draft, and your home mooring. So that's the number you return to when you come back to Newport. Okay. This is the boat's stereo. The stereo is equipped with an iPod jack. To utilize the iPod, on the stereo, you depress the mode button to auxiliary. To utilize the CD player, you press the button here to open, place your CD inside, and close the front. As stated on the DC panel, the boat also has an inverter outlet. This gives you AC power. As, you says, as it says here, you lift to open. Now this outlet will only run a cell phone and laptop, so you can't plug a hair dryer, a toaster, or a microwave into it. One thing to note about the hot water, to get the hottest water on the boat, you have to use the shore power hot water heater here. If you're getting the hot water from the engine, A, it will not get as warm as from the hot water heater, and B, the warmest water you get will be at the end of the day, not at the beginning of the day. So if you are motoring and you want to get hot water, the best time to use the shower per se is at the end of the day. Your boat is equipped with a waterproof chart, an Eldridge Tide book, and a cruising guide. You have a New England cruising guide and a Long Island cruising guide. These cruising guides are a wealth of information. They give you information about any predominant place you want to go. For instance, if you're in Newport, you have the cruising guide, you have a chart, you have information about all the facilities, um, phone numbers, moorings, whatnot. And most of these locations also will give you an aerial photo of the harbor, what it looks like. Again, these are a wealth of information. You all also, which I recommend, is the use of the waterproof chart. I keep this handy in the cockpit when I go sailing, and as you can see, it tells you where not to go when you're leaving Newport. You have to be aware of the fish traps here. And also when you're coming around Cuddy Hunk, you have to be aware of Sow and Pig's Reef. Again, this is an excellent chart and it's something you want to keep handy in the cockpit when you're sailing. Also, in the nav station, you have this up. Also in the nav table here, you have a full-size chart book, two waterproof charts, uh, navigation tools and anything else you might need to help you navigate the boat.